it is from class 10 maths from the exercise 1.3 question number one prove that root 5 is irrational you are asked to prove that root 5 is irrational and we know the uh, root 5 is an irrational number but you need to prove it that is the question so in a simple step we can prove it so what shall we do is let us take this root 5 as rational rational we'll take the contrary that is root 5 is irrational but we'll assume it as rational and we'll follow some mathematical steps and we'll check whether it is possible to be rational or not then we'll decide so uh, it is written let root 5 be a rational number and we know rational number is always uh, in the form of p by q so surely root 5 can be expressed as p by q so surely root 5 can be expressed as in the form of p by q where p and q as a co prime integer so it is clearly written where p and q are co prime integer so since root 5 is taking as a rational so it can be expressed in the form of p by q as p and q as a co prime integer and you know co prime integer means there is no other common factor other than one there is no common factor other than one means you cannot reduce any more this fraction cannot reduce any more okay so look carefully if root 5 is irrational then surely it is in the form of p by q that is root 5 is equal to p by q then surely we can rewrite it like this by cross multiplying root 5 into q we get root 5 q and p is remaining in the same place and both sides we can make it square this is not a wrong step this is a correct step both sides taking a square after taking a square both sides we will get root 5 square is 5 and q square is q square okay and p square is remaining same just taking out the bracket now one thing you remember p square value you observe the p square value in the left side this is the p square value of p square and it is a square number because it is the um, it is same to p square it is a square number as well as it is multiple of 5 it is a square number as well as multiple of 5 this value is you observe 5 into something means this value whatever value this value will give a multiple of 5 so what we can say that this p square value is a multiple of 5 so we can write p square is multiple of 5 or p square divides by 5 so it is written p square is multiple of 5 then surely if p square is multiple of 5 then surely p is also multiple of 5 for that i'll show you some example p square is multiple of 5 that means p square is a square number as well as multiple of 5 i'll take some examples so i am picking up some numbers that is a square number as well as multiple of 5 like 100 is a square number 25 is a square number as well as multiple of 5 225 is a square number as well as multiple of 5 now you see their square root 100's square root that is 10 and 25 square root that is 5 and 225 square root that is 15 so their square root you observe their square roots 15 5 10 they are also multiple of 5 I'll repeat again that this is a square number multiple of 5 then its square root also multiple of 5 that's why 
so it is very clear that p square value is a square number as well as multiple of 5 so it is written here p square is multiple of 5 then this square root that is p squares square root that is p then p is, is also multiple of 5 now you see since p is also a multiple of 5 then surely we can represent this p like this p is equal to 5 into something suppose m m for some integer m for some integer therefore we can rewrite p is equal to 5 into some integer since p is also a multiple of 5 so p should be in the form of 5 into something okay now let us put here this is as equation 1 now what shall I do is this p value I'll replace in equation 1 so now putting p is equal to 5 and in 1 then the equation 1 will, will be represented it will be represent like this you see here the equation 1 is 5 q square is equal to p square 5 q square is equal to p square but p is replaced with 5n this is not a wrong thing since p is same as 5n then in place of p we can write 5m then what you see what it happens so what you can see after replacing p value then you see here 5 square is 25 m square is m square okay now let us find the q square value this 5 is bring to the right side it will go down as a divide form to 25 now 5 divides 25 5 times 5 5 is 25 so what ultimately what we got q square is equal to 5 m square so from here what we can get we get that q square value is also 5 into something some integer q square it is a square number and from here we confirm that it is multiple of 5 so what we got q square is also a multiple of 5 so it is written here q square is multiple of 5 and in the same way if q square is multiple of 5 then surely the q value also will be multiple of 5 then you look carefully here we got a contradiction contradiction means something that is not agreeing we are doing all the steps correctly but something that is not agreeing that is contradiction you see here we assume the root 5 is as the form of p by q where p and q are co prime integer co prime integer means they don't have any common factors they can't reduce any more but remember here you see p is multiple of 5 and at last q is also multiple of 5 try to understand p is multiple of 5 and q is also multiple of 5 means p is also divisible by 5 q is also divisible by 5 that means p and q both can be reduced by 5 they are not co-prime try to understand p is multiple of 5 q is multiple of 5 that means they can be reduced by 5 means they are not co prime but in the beginning what we assume p and q are co prime if we assume as a co prime then it must come out as a co prime because we are following all the correct steps but it is coming out as not co prime so it is a contradiction it is a contradiction and why this contradiction we are doing everything correctly but it is coming out a contradiction a wrong things is coming out why everything is correctly doing but wrong things is coming out why because we assume wrongly because our beginning is wrong what is the beginning 
root 5 as a rational root 5 is a rational this is our beginning so since our beginning is wrong so the our we are getting a wrong things so our assumption that is root 5 as a rational is wrong root 5 cannot be a rational then what should be the root 5 if root 5 cannot be a rational then surely root 5 will be irrational that is the point we should write so it is clearly written it it contradicts the fact that p and q are co-prime and it is due to our wrong assumption so root 5 must be irrational you must get the point so from here what it contradicts it contradicts the fact that p and q are co-prime that is the things it contradicts here and why it contradiction comes this contradiction come and it is due to our wrong assumption we assume wrongly we assume that root 5 is a rational number that is the wrong assumption that is wrong then what should be root 5 what root 5 should be then root 5 must be irrational hence proof